What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to scrape Google Maps data without paying money to hit their API, without having to pay money to download any extensions, or um, use any third party website. So this is purely with JavaScript, uh, some code I wrote. Um, you just paste it into the console and I'll show you how it works real quick right here. So I got my code. I'm going to copy it simply then, paste it into the console hit enter now it's running you can see that it's scraping um, I'm gonna just continue to scroll down on the information so more information is popping up so these I'm getting these bars in Orlando uh, it's for I did this for an app I built on iOS It's called uh, sober motivation and that's why I got this uh, info but you can get any of the information that's on Google Maps, um, like name, bar, or name, uh, website, phone, whatever. Um, I just got the name and the latitude and longitude because that's all I really needed. Um, so Google Maps has a lazy load feature, so you do have to scroll down as you're going for this to work. And then um, when you hit the end of the list, it's usually only, even if you hit the API, same thing, you only get like 60 or 70 uh, venues. So for me, like I wrote this algorithm to make this quicker, like if you just move the map, you'll see that more bars load because obviously there's a lot more bars than just 60 whatever near Orlando, Florida. And so this is loading them all, it's loading them all, it's loading them all. It's a lazy load feature. You can see all these different bars loading in. And then once um, you get through lit loading all these uh, the info you can see like down here is still scraping the data even as I'm moving the map around and it'll also filter out any duplicates so if you get in duplicate information or venues then it'll uh, automatically remove those from the algorithm so now I've reached the end and I'm going to come here to the toolbar it's just where I pick to click and I click that and that's going to end the scraping process we got our promise here and it's got an array we got a hundred and 59 um, bars is what we got here. Uh, so it looks like the corner was the last one that we got. So we'll go down to the end of the list. Uh, looks like the corner. And just so you can see that this is accurate, um, I'm going to type this in. So here's the latitude. So if you Google Maps, you just type latitude and longitude in here. It should paste it in. So this should theoretically pop up the bar, the corner. When we get to it, it's going in. Where, so it looks like it's right here in this spot. I'm going to exit out this and then this will go away. We can zoom in a little bit more. Um, let's see. The social. Let me just type it in. It's called the corner. The corner. Yeah, so it's right there. I don't know, it wasn't popping up on the map. But yeah, that's exactly where it's at. Um, so that works. Um, <clears throat> if you want to use this code, um, you can uh, send me $5 on Venmo. I'll have my link in the description. And then make sure you just paste, type in there like, hey, I want, I need the algorithm. That way I know what you're sending me the five dollars for and then also when you send the money um send your slack id um i could email it to you but slack would be easier um also because you can send code on slack and it doesn't get all uh messed up so uh yeah that's it so i'll have the link in the description if you want to use this code and bypass google's api and put a bunch of data into your um <clears throat> your website or application this is a great way to do it you can see the app that i built um, that i'm using it for on the app store here it's called sober motivation so you can go check that out too all right and i used the uh, information to build this app here that's how i ended up building this so it just sends notifications to you if you're in a bar like a store and then you get push notifications every hour on the hour so go download the app Send five dollars. <laughs> Happy coding, guys.